Hi and welcome to another episode of Tool Talk. I'm Mark the Window Cleaner. This show brought to you by windowcleaningresource.com. If you clean windows and homes for a living, you've no doubt had to deal with screens in one way or another. Now talking with many window cleaners out there, I've noticed that there seems to be a very gray area when it comes to cleaning screens and it usually revolves around how they charge for it or don't charge for it. Uh, I've heard everything from, uh, oh I don't charge for screens, I just do my quick brushing, to uh, I include it in the price of the window cleaning, I do a little bit more, I, I hose them down. Um, and others say, uh, oh well I charge X amount of dollars per uh, screen that I clean. Regardless of uh, how you charge for your screen cleaning service, yeah, you know, we got to take a look at the tools that you use. Now, quite often, I, for those who do the cheapest method of, I don't charge, I just get my brush in. Usually, they use something like your common household uh, duster, uh, floor brush that you use with a dustpan. You know, you can buy this thing at the dollar store for a dollar. And, you know, that's fine. You can just brush off your screen, get rid of any dust, dirt, cobwebs, or whatever. Um, but other than that, not a very uh, thorough job, not something that's going to impress a customer. Uh, you're probably going to want to use something a little bit uh, better if you want to make an impression, get those screens looking cl uh, closer to new. And, you know, I'll admit that it also depends on the type of solution you use. Uh, Tide with bleach alternative uh, mixed with water is a, it's a very good solution. Uh, once again, that's Tide with bleach alternative. Don't uh, use any bleaching on your fiberglass screens or else you're going to be sorry. Uh, but as far as uh, tools that I've been using lately, uh, I've recently picked up this Ettore Super Brush. And this is really a, a, quite a handy brush to have. Uh, you can use it dry, you can use it wet. It's literally got thousands of bristles. Pretty much they're, they're soft at the ends, so they're not going to be too abrasive. And you can use this brush for cleaning just about uh, anything around the home, whether it be uh, a pre-dusting of the siding, uh, to get off cobwebs and whatnot uh, before you do any kind of siding cleaning um, around the gutters on the outside, the soffits um, fits on your pole nice and swivels to get into awkward positions. Um, but like I, I was saying in the beginning that this is a tool that I've been using for my screen cleaning and it's really held up quite well. I've been using this for a couple months and it still looks almost new and maybe it's just the way I use my tools but anyway, usually when I clean a screen with this tool. I'll dunk this into my solution and I'll hold the tool, uh, the uh, screen up vertical and I just basically brush down on the one side, flip it around, brush down on the other and uh, if I'm in an outside situation, which I am most of the time, I'll just take this, hold it at the end and just give it a quick whack on the ground and flip it over, maybe do it one more time. That gets off about 80, maybe even 90 percent of the water and then for the rest, I'll just take like a, a terry towel and give it a, a good wipe. Or even just leave it in the, the sun there and uh, within a few minutes there it dries on its own. But anyway, the main thing I want to talk to you about is the, the handiness of this uh, brush. Uh, even if you're not into window cleaning, even if you just stumbled upon this video because you were searching for uh, tool information, this is a pretty handy utility brush, uh, fits on most common pole tips and will uh, you know, will serve you well for cleaning anything around the exterior of a property and uh, maybe even a few things on the inside. Anyway, this tool can be bought at windowcleaningresource.com where they have this and many other maintenance cleaning tools and solutions. Okay, bye for now.